Okay, this video is intended for noobs. We're all noobs once in a while. I hope to uh, show you how to get the hell off the coast, get kitted up, and uh, make some objectives and accomplish them. If you want action and stuff, you won't find it in this video. It's going to be a lot of walking and a lot of boring slinking around and trying to scavenge for food and stuff like that. So this is more to get people on their feet and get an idea on how to play it. So your main menu, select multiplayer. And here you have a filter. This will show you everything that you can play in Arma. That includes the base game. So I filter it. You click filter. Right now we're on version 1.7.0. So I go 1.7.0. And I'll only see servers with that in their name. Now of course give it a second and the, it'll ping itself and sort by ping. So the lower the number the closer you are to the server and the better you'll be if you're in a one on one battle with a a bad guy. Uh, depending on the time of day, the server will be night or it'll be daytime. Right now I think it's getting closer to evening in Europe and these are the higher pings, so we're lucky. Uh, we can pick a lower ping server in the US somewhere. So I'm just gonna try... One other thing is you have to look down at the difficulty you, you can see all kinds of stuff. It shows you the expansions, but the player names that are on that server. But difficulty, you want at least, I go veteran, just because I think people with aiming reticles, I don't care if you can go in a third person or not, but when you have an aiming reticle and it's 200 meters away and they can see you through the bush, that's bullshit. So you're more likely to get killed by a player an enemy player on the easy levels than you are on the veteran level. So I find one. Here's US 20 something, low ping, and it's veteran. So let's do that. It says plus 3D or plus third. So I, I think that means you can swap in and out of third person. To do that, you hit your, in this screen, we see there's only a few people, so it might be dark there. I don't know. Let's hit OK. To swap between first and third person, you hit the Enter key on your number keypad. This is a typical error. It might pop up while you're playing. You just click OK. There's nothing else you can do. It's only annoying if you're in the middle of a firefight. Receiving data is pretty common to stop at the very last percentage like it is here. I think what it's doing is it's loading the entire world map. And you should have a map printed out or on a web page that you can alt tab to or shift tab to, whatever the case may be but you should have a map and I don't care if it's cheating but get a map so you can orientate yourself the bottom right it says we're in Electro Zavistat it just popped up and left and this is where we don't want to be it looks like it's over there since I know I'm on the south coast I know that that's west and that's east so I'm on the west side of Electro, and that's good. Because that'll help this tutorial a lot. So the first thing you want to do is get the hell out of there and get into some cover. And what I do is just go prone, look around, get the lay of the land, look at your map. So hopefully you've got a map and you're going to follow along. We're on the west side of Electro right now. So that means we want to follow the coast. And we need some objectives. So right now we got shit. Let's look at our inventory. We got two bandages, can of baked beans, and morphine and painkillers, and I'll explain all this later and how to use it. But we've only got a pistol with 
six mags. So we got a ton of bullets. And the Makarov is very quiet. So it won't attract a lot of zombies when you shoot it. It's got a limited range of sound. So it's not super loud and it's it's alright. It's a good backup weapon. I like it. So what we're going to do though is get off the coast. Because other people are spawning. And then you have player killers that like to come to the coast to kill the players that are spawning. So this is the most dangerous point in your life. Actually the whole thing is dangerous. So that's east. We want to go west. But I want to get up into those forests up there. See them in the far distance? Oh, two zombies already. I'm pretty close. You don't want to run around them. It's better to walk. But I'm just far enough away that... I can run around them. So let's run around them. And I want to hit those forests up there. I want to get away from the coast. Stick to cover as much as possible. Right now I'm in a crouch run. You have three stances. I, I guess this server allows third person. You might want to use this kind of thing to get used to it. So right now I'm crouched. Let's go prone. You have three stances. You got prone. We got crouched. And we have standing up. Standing up, you're faster, but you're... Oh, look at those zombies. Just sort of... They, they're not scanned on us yet, but they just ha happen to be heading in our general direction. I like to, by default, go crouch. This is walking. You'll do a lot of this. You should get used to looking around you all the time. So you can move in one direction while looking around you. So I'm still focused on those hills and those trees. And I can look behind me. Technically, you want to run. Now, anywhere there's a building, there's going to be zombies. So it's always... This is a bad place to stand because we're on a hill. So this will help us a bit. See these shrubs help us because we're crouched. Standing up, I'm more of a target and more visible. So most of the time, I'm going to be running like this and walking like this. If I'm not prone. That's a building we can explore, but we're not going to do that now. We're going to avoid it. And you don't want to walk along the top of the hill crest. See how I'm doing that now? Because that gives you a big profile all around you. So let's get closer to the tracks. Off that hill. Okay, I want to cut through there and get up at least to that those trees up there. I want to get the hell out of here, honestly. Of course, there's two zombies in our way. And I guess I got another thing I can tell you about. Is when you're on a paved road, which you can see that is. There are signs going in and out of every town on the paved road. And they will tell you where you are. Now it's written in the Russian Cyrillic. So you'll have to uh, kind of look at what it says and then match it up with the uh, Latin English version of what we see it as. Now, this is kind of a pain, but hey, you're going to have to go through this. One trick is, if you're crawling, you can fast crawl or slow crawl. And one thing is, you always... The zombie, you can pretty much walk right beside a zombie and they won't detect you if you're doing this. Now, they might walk into you and you might walk into them. 
And also, because of trees and foliage and everything, that foliage, you won't be able to do it. So you'll... It could be a hassle. It's slow, but it's the safest way to go. So let's do that. Let's just go this way. Now, technically, I can get up and crouch. You'll get used to this, but I know I'm far enough away from them. As long as I don't run right now, they won't get aggravated and chase me. The problem is, there might be another zombie I'm not paying attention to. I can sort of hear one to the left. Right there, there he is. Yeah, I'm going to crouch. And I'm going to get out of his path. He's a little single-minded. Well, that's why you, you, you go prone. Because if I was standing there for a few seconds longer, he would have detected my presence and charged at me. And then I would have shot at him. And then everyone else around here would have heard the shots and been after me. And you're going to see that happen. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it all the way through this without it. And I don't need to trigger it on purpose. It's going to happen spontaneously. Now see that guy. Yeah, they're all walking that way. I'm just going to go down the road here. Just get off the road. Okay, there's a road sign. See the blue sign on the right there? That's like your typical direction. And then the white one on the left. And it's going to tell us what town we're in. Now it's on the other side. Lots of zombies here. See, it's not easy getting out of here. Can breathe a little easier once uh, we get set up and out of here. Jesus, he was turned around. Oh, here's a gas station. Well, let's do our first looting. Gas stations usually have stuff like jerry cans, maybe food, junk. Who knows? There's not a lot in there, but there is something. So, a lot of buildings here you can't actually loot. They're just uh, they're there for show. You can't enter them, you can't do anything. But gas stations are one type of building you can. Oh look, barbed wire. But this part is broken. So we'll slide in here. Make sure you're walking, not running right now. You're a lot quieter. If you look at the ear on the icon, oops. Sometimes you can open gates by pointing at them. Well, it looks like you gotta go around. Now, whenever you're in a building, think of the walls as tissue paper. Never stand by a wall. To look at this, you point at it and you get that icon. Hit your gear key. On your right is the quantity of everything that's in your inventory. To the left is what is on the ground. So the right is always going to be what you have. So there's two empty tin cans. Those are useless. But here, oh look. We have a G17 mag. We don't have a gun for it. An M9 mag. See, that's for uh, pretty quality hardware. To put it in your inventory, you see there's one G17. We'll hit right. We're going to ditch this later, I know it, but...
what we really want is a hunting knife. Hunting knives will allow us to gut animals. If we shoot a sheep or a cow or something, we can chop it up into steaks and then cook it. But we'll get to that later. So the hunting knife is a big score here. Um, our magazines are almost full, so every time we pick this up, it's going to swap out something else. I would rather have the bandages. So we don't have a gun that can use an M9 and probably won't for many hours. So let's just pick up the bandage. Bandages and magazines all go in the six slots beside the, the eight slots beside the pistol. And if I pick up another something, it's going to randomly drop one of these. Something you'll just have to get the hang of. As you can see on the sign, it says NYCTA, and if you look on your map, that shows us, fuck, we're probably on the west, east side of Electro. I'm not sure. I thought we were on the west side of it. But. Prigadorly. And that's our destination, really. Now, let's go back to our objective. I wanted to get up there and get the hell out of here. So it looks like I got a good clean run here. I don't I never play in third person, but this might give you an idea on what's going on until you get the hang of it. So basically our objective is Prigaludori. If you see it on the map, that's where we're heading. There's uh three barns there, and I'm hoping we can get either a Lee Enfield rifle or a, a Winchester. Either either is good. I prefer the Winchester. We'll see what happens. And that's all we want to do is get a good weapon and then we're going to head ultimately to the airfield. So I always have two objectives. I have a grand over, over, over arching scheme. And in this case, it's getting way up to the northwest of the airfield to raid the barracks and get some really awesome weaponry. In the meantime, we're going to have a hundred little mini missions that we set up along the way. And... Most likely, they, nothing will go according to plan, but we'll try and do it. So, my plan is to go to Prigolidori, get some weapons, and then we're going to head north and west. Probably hitting Kozlovka, Drazino. Basically, once we get some weapons here, our next plan is going to be to hit Zelenogorsk. So that's our short short term plan. Make it to Zelenogorsk to loot the store that they have there. Hopefully get a compass and a backpack and stuff like that. Maybe some binoculars. But we might find that stuff on the way. But right now we're just going to Piligorsky or whatever it's called. 